Last night we told you about a unique rescue called Heart. Volunteers actually go out and search for your lost pets. Well, Brittany Thomason joined them today as they search for Bruno and Brittany. It seems like at least this one was successful, right? Yes, and Spencer, today I learned so much about looking for missing pets today. If you spot your missing pet or someone else's, you don't want to call it. You also should not chase it. That's because once dogs are lost for more than a day, they go into fight or flight mode. You can bait dogs with food, water, and an item with the scent he will recognize. Volunteers with hearts say flyers are the number one reason lost pets are found. Once volunteers know where the dogs are, they can set up traps to catch them. We place traps all over. Again, there's different types of traps. Um, but if this dog was seen in a neighborhood, let's say down the way in at someone's yard, we would get permission from that person to maybe put it in their yard. And because it's so hot outside, she said you're most likely to spot your pet once it starts getting dark. And if you do search during the day, they say you can look for your dog near water or in shady areas. But Spencer, this group is still looking for more volunteers. So on our AZ Family app, there'll be a link where you can sign up. And there are a lot of people I saw chatting online about wanting to be careful with fireworks, not wanting to scare the uh, pets. Hopefully those are people who may also go out there and, and help yeah, bring so some thoughtful. people in. Yeah, because they, they're thinking about the animals there. All right. Thanks so much, Brittany. Glad